Hi, it's Jai here from beyondwiz.com.au. In today's video, we're going to talk about um, the web interface um, for your BeyondWiz T3, uh, how to operate it and, and what it's capable of. It's quite a cool tool. Um, first of all, to, to access the web interface, you need to be, have your uh, T3 connected to the internet. You can either do this via your, uh, your LAN cable you know, through the LAN port in the back or a wireless dongle or a wireless bridge or a, a power line converter. There's so many good ways to connect up these days so there's really no excuse not to have it connected to the internet and if you don't you're missing out on a whole heap of uh, options. So so if you're in, unsure and you want to hook it up just give us a call at BeyondWiz or, or log on to our web shop. There's some options in there and get connected. So what we need to do first of all once you're connected to the internet is we need to find out uh, your IP address, the IP address of your BeyondWiz T3. Um, the simple way to do this is to go into the menu of your T3, I'll just click the button here, and then scroll across to uh, Setup, which I'm highlighting now, and then instead of going into the Setup by pressing OK, just sc scroll down to Information and press OK. Then we want to go down to Network, and again press OK. So this will give you network information, and then the the information that we want is your IP address which is this line here so just make a note of, of this number here because we're going to use use that in a minute so my IP address here for instance is 192.168.0.5 okay so I'm gonna use my memory bank and, and remember that now I'm just going to drag in uh, my um, in my browser so I use Google Chrome but this should work on, on all your browsers on um, Firefox or, or Explorer or whatever you, you're used to using. So all we do with that number that I'm now going to recall, which is 192.168.0.5, just enter that into the address line of your browser. That's where you usually put in your web address that you're going to. Um, you just enter the number itself and press enter. And that's going to open up our web interface, which is what you see here. So with this, I'm just going to run through some of the basics um, of, of what this can do. Um, so basically what we're seeing here is, is just the, the channel that your T3 is currently on with a short um, EPG information up the top there. And then you've got your other information up here which is um, what is currently on your TV. You can click down and get more information um, about that and that's like an info bar I guess. So it's telling us that we're on channel 10 or channel 1 in, in Sydney and, and that shows on now and that's on next. So much like your info bar that you see on your T3 itself. Your bouquets, which are all your channels that we've talked about in other videos, um, that's just where you can access all your channels and you can drill down further into them. Providers, just another way of sorting all these services here um, and your all channels and an EPG also. So this EPG here will have pretty much be like the one, it's a different look obviously than the one that's on your box, but it actually mirrors that. So you've, you're going to have seven days worth of data here. Now in here you can do all the sorts of things that you can do on your box, like you can set timers, um, or you can change channels and different things like that. Um, and if you look, it should scroll across to all the services um, down the bottom here as well. So obviously my my window's collapsed at the moment so you can't get as much information on the screen as you usually would when you blow up this. It's just collapsed to the size, uh, a good size so I can make this video. Um, so I'll show you how to, if you click on say the program um, here for instance, looks look at um, you know Million Dollar Minute on channel 7. It's going to open that up and tell you um, about the show, the EPG data. Um, what time it starts, how long it's on for, the date, etc. And then it's got all these options down here. Now, this option here is to set a timer. So if you click on that, that'll automatically come up here and set your timer. And you can actually drill down and do further timers where you can actually repeat it and so forth. But I just want to record it today, so I'm just going to hit save and that'll add to my timer list. Um, here's to change channels to that service. So if I click that, you should see in the background here, I'll just click quickly click off it. Um, that <coughs> it's now changed to that channel on my T3 on my on my television, and the third option is to stream it. You can actually stream uh, that program to your TV. What I might do is I might go back here and uh, change this channel back to channel one again, because what you can actually do is you can stream. Uh, multiple channels um, to your PC and it won't interrupt your television viewing. 
So your TV could be on downstairs and the wife might be down there watching uh, Sons and Daughters or whatever the latest, greatest program is. And you could be up in your office or on your laptop or something and you could stream something totally different and not interrupt that viewing. So to stream it, you just click on that button. You'll see it'll actually download an M3U file down here, which is a streaming file. Now, if you click on that, it should just open up in your, your current default um, media player software. Uh, which looks like mine is uh, just a the little stock standard media player and that'll load up and and start to play so let me just so you can probably hear that in the background as well I just need to mute that um, so yeah that's streaming now on the video you're watching it may seem a little bit blocky but that's just because of the capturing software I'm using to demonstrate on these videos but but on the screen that I'm looking at now it's actually really crystal clear smooth and there's absolutely no breakups and everything's in sync uh, it looks great so I'm just going to put that to the side and just just I don't want to hold you up too much on this one but just for another quick uh, option if I want to go here to hot seat for instance and stream that as well I don't know if you can open two things in the one media software it'll probably just take it take it over but if I go to maybe play it back with a different one so VLC media player for instance uh, you'll see now that I can actually stream multiple things there too again I'll just mute that also so yeah look I'm streaming two programs now and if we go back and see what's exactly on downstairs you'll see that there's a totally different program on there too so I haven't interrupted what the wife is doing there. That's a pretty cool feature. Um, so let me just close that down and I'll go on with the, uh, the further demonstrations. I've got a million screens up at the moment. Here we go. So yeah, that's that's the streaming feature and the features of the EPG. Um, so if you go down here a bit further, you've got, um, just collapse that. You've just got a basic volume control, which can control the volume, obviously. Of, uh, of your T3, your power control, so you can turn all the power modes on there. Grab a screenshot, that's pretty self-explanatory. It'll just show you what's on the TV there. Um, and, and grab a screenshot, you can refresh it and all that sort of stuff. Um, send a message, this is another one. So again, if the wife's down in the lounge room and you're you're up in your office watching something do, or you could, you know, if you've got an important message to send or something like, grab me a beer, please, that'll do. I don't know how this will go. I might get a shoe thrown at me, but um, I'll send that through. And if I go back there, you'll see on the screen downstairs, it actually comes up on the screen of the TV. That's a cool little feature, um, especially if uh, the wife turns up in about a minute with a beer. <laughs> um, timers, which uh, is just all your timers set up in your machine. I haven't got many set up in there at the moment, but you'll see I've just set that timer a minute ago in the demonstration. Um, so that's in there. Uh, the remote control, you've got a basic remote here, but if you actually can open it up, it shows the full Beyond Wiz remote. And this remote you've probably seen me use in the demonstrations, and it works really, really well. Um, the box info looks just tells you about the information of the box. Uh, the movies, this will show you all your recordings on your hard drive, so you can stream recordings as well. And you can also save them to your PC also with that button, and you can delete them too. Uh, settings, which is all your settings of your T3 so if you don't want to browse through the menu you can actually just quickly click here and go through and, and set all your settings and it, it probably saves a little bit of time and it's it's easy to see a lot of different things on screen also um, what was at the bottom uh, EPG search yeah great feature if you want to um, you know you've got a show coming up and you, you're racing right you know you need to race out really quickly and you want to record say the voice that's the show that my family is watching at the moment at the moment just search for that and that should come up with um, all the voice shows that are coming up there. So you see there, there's an encore show, but uh, this one I think is the one that could be on tonight. What's the date? 14th, 18th, something like that. Anyway, so I want to record the voice on the 18th. Um, you can just click that there, and that should hopefully be setting my timers. If I go back to the timers now, uh, there we go. Yeah, we've got the voice and Million Dollar Minute in my timer list there. Um, so that's just a quick look uh, at the open open web interface so uh, jump in you know have a look around have a play heaps of uh, heaps of options in there and um, some really really cool features all right thanks